Welcome to Game Over Entertainment and today on the channel we're talking about a game that I haven't mentioned on here in a long time. The Wolf Among Us Season 2. Seven things it needs. Alright, so this is my opinion, my speculation about everything. Wolf Among Us Season 2 has not even been confirmed yet. Yes, I know. Telltale, what are you doing? It's won every award in the book. Go ahead and confirm Season 2 so I can stop chopping you up like this. Alright, so... It's been a while since I played Wolf Among Us, no doubt, but I haven't forgotten how good that experience was. In Season 2, there are a couple things that I would like to see changes from Season 1 that I think will make Season 2 even that much better. Alright, so first on deck, what do I think Season 2 needs to be successful? I think Big B needs a love interest or some type of relationship. Of course, we have Snow White in the mix and I already know in the future she's already with He's already with Snow White, okay? But I would like to have something going on right now. Something Big B can fight for and something, someone who actually will care for him back. Snow White really didn't reciprocate any of Big B's feelings and it was kind of one-sided, most of the situation. Only a brief glimpse of Snow White's feelings manifested in episode four, but that's all we got to see. So I would like to see the Big Wolf get you know involved in relationship i think he deserves it after a hard day of work you know in that really crappy apartment he he needs someone give the man someone to hold <laughs> all right and then number two what i think it needs is longer episodes yes a staggering a lot of Ace episodes were less than an hour and 30 minutes long, but Telltale's previous record right now, the way the things are currently going with Game of Thrones and Tales from the Borderlands, each episode is stemming from at least an hour 45 to over two hours long, so that's been pretty good, and I would like to bring that to the Wolf Among Us table. Having our episodes this long would have probably given us 20% more storyline in Wolf Among Us Season 1 than we possibly could have had. All right. Another thing and we need to add in Wolf Among Us Season 2 is more exploration of our environments, all right? We don't really have a time to do any type of detective work as Big B. Um, you know, he is a man of the law who's trying to figure out clues and find things, but Telltale shouldn't really insult his gamers by not letting us have free reign and explore our environments to figure out these clues. So, beautiful. It's a beautiful looking game very similar to a uh, comic book style and I would just love to walk around pick up some stuff look at it maybe put some stuff in my pocket and actually use items for once all right that's another thing the item system <laughs> make it actually useful and have a purpose if I pick up an item don't just don't just make the item completely useless to me okay have me use it for some type of purpose or something to uh, get some kind of storyline or some kind of dialogue points that I wouldn't have got before there are a couple minor instances of that but I would like to see more of that in season two if possible now moving on to what I would like to happen in the storyline I want to visit the farm the farm is a place that's been whispered about, been hinted about, mentioned in several occasions, but we've never actually been there. Now, I know Big B is actually banned from going to the farm, and I would like a little backstory of maybe about how that happened. I think it's in the Book of Fables about that, so that is there. But I would like to see this mythical farm that everybody's been talking about, and just to see what all the fuss is about. Why is it so bad? Why do people want to leave? Is it like a prison camp? I don't really know, man. But I do want to check out the farm in Season 2. Another thing I think season two needs is the integration of Mondays. That's one thing that I think this was highly missing in uh, season one. It's just some other person, a normal person like me or you, walk into this crazy fable filled world and just being like amazed about what's happening. When stuff goes crazy and people start transforming and magic is being used, all the characters are kind of numb to that. They don't really have that reaction that I have, okay? I can't reciprocate my reactions to any of the characters because they're fables and they already know about this crazy environment that we, that's fantasy environment. But a Mundy, someone who's a human looking at this situation from the outside looking in will have a completely different reaction. Maybe even think they're going crazy, just, you know, flabbergasted by all the stuff that's going on around them. And that's why I think they missed out on the opportunity to have Detective Brannigan integrated into the story. Her being a Monday, her being a cop of the law, they could have had her do some kind of team up with Big B, which I think would have played to both different strengths and it was just pretty, pretty interesting to see her react to some of the crazy stuff going on in Fable Town. And speaking of more fables in the story, 
other people I would like to see in season two. I want to see King Cole. Who is the man that brought Fable Town together? Who is the overlord and who is making all these decisions? I would like to see this man and see who he is. He's talked about in certain situations, but we never actually see him and he's not in the Book of Fables. So I'd like to more more about him. Bluebeard, I think he was very downplayed. His role was pretty insignificant and in throughout the game, which I think was a, a pretty much a letdown. You know, Dave Fenoy, the terrific voice actor, but Bluebeard as a character really didn't have any progression, development, or any kind of involvement in the story, man. We could have, if he had not been in the Wolf Among Us at all, it would have been the exact same game. And I think that's a wasted opportunity to have him be more meaningful and do more things, you know. If they want to make him out to be a conniving, ruthless businessman, then let him be a little bit ruthless. Let him do some schemes and, you know, work his way behind the backs and do some things that affect the actual storyline. I would like to see that. And then last but not least, I want to see Cinderella. She is also hinted in the game. We saw some pictures of her. I've heard some other comments that she is a big involvement in the future, uh, in the future comments that take place 20 years after this point. And uh, I would like to see her integrated to the story because I think she would make a cool character. And uh, another thing that I don't want in season two was, uh, would be the prostitutes. I think this whole ending where they end off where, you know, the Faith or Narissa thing twists at the end. You, you don't really know what's going on, but I would like to keep that a mystery, okay? I don't want us to dive back into that storyline and exploring the prostitute thing again. I like us to take some new ground, experience some new parts of Fable Town, to see what other people are doing and how characters are living and how they're adjusting from their lives as being a fable to being into the human world. So I want to see a little bit more of that and just stay away from the whole prostitute thing. I think that was a good storyline for season one, but I don't want to dwell on it anymore. Okay, the strip clubs were nice, but <laughs> it's always, it's time to go home. All right, so yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on Wolf Among Us season two. Let me know your thoughts below about what you would like to see in season two. Of course, your thoughts are different from mine. And will season two even happen? We're talking about something hypothetical completely that may not even come to fruition. So. We'll have to see about that, man. Thumbs up is always appreciated, by the way. And if also, tweet Telltale. Tell them we won Wolf Mugga Season 2. I should probably start a petition up, man, because this is getting ridiculous now. One of the best games they've ever made, and I, it still hasn't seen the light of day. Okay? So, yeah, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I'm not saying it's fair, but people are scared of you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. But now I see this war has been going on for years. Your job is to keep Fable Town safe. Sheriff, I see you made it here in one piece. This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. You're too late, Bigby. They won't bring back Lily or Faith. What you did! Not this way! What have you done? You're not as bad as everyone says you are.